Streetwear, sneakers, and vintage clothes have always been a part of my life. Now they're helping me build a community and support those I love most. When I left the military, I started reselling vintage as a side hustle. And when both my parents were diagnosed with cancer within the same year, that side hustle became a way to give back. With this series, I'm going to show you how to turn this? clothes Enough. into cash. Oh my god. I guess I'm going to be counting tonight. <laughs> I'm going to cry. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Slavi. Welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to do yet another trip to the trip. We are going to go on a thrifting adventure together and hopefully find some thrifted heat. That being said, if you guys like these videos, it is absolutely imperative that you smash the like button down below. I know it's annoying when YouTubers beg for likes, but please understand, this is how I feed my family. This is how I put food on the table for me madre and me familia. So please take a quick second and smash the like button down below. You guys can take it back at any point. So just because you hit that like button, it doesn't mean you need to keep the video liked. It takes a quick second out of your day. Like I said, you can take it back. If I say something later that pisses you off, you can gladly take that like back, but please take a second, hit the like button down below, and show some love in the comments. I love making these videos, and I hope to continue to make these and just get better and better at producing some dope content for you guys. I saw this video of this girl doing like online thrift store shopping, and her video production was so good, it inspired me to like step my game up. So I do hope to continue to make these videos better and better over time. That being said, right now, I'm just kind of thrifting when I can because I'm in the process of moving, and hopefully I'll be moved soon, but I do want to bring a video to you guys every single Sunday so if you guys like these videos like I said smash the like button down below I'm excited to get moved and have a little bit more space and I'm gonna change some things up as well especially on thrift row I'm just super excited to get that kind of I don't know there's some things I want to do that being said if you see anything in this video that you want to purchase usually I post to my website thriftrow.com however I do give people the opportunity to actually DM me before so if you guys see something you like DM me on thrift row t-h-r-i-f-t-r-o-w it's gonna be somewhere on the screen in the description down below it may take me a little bit to get back to you if I don't get back to you the item that you are inquiring about may be sold out but Obviously, I'm in the process of moving, so I do not have time to post up to the website, but definitely follow Thrift Row if there's anything you like. Everything that I get, for the most part, I do sell. There are some items that I keep for my personal, which I'll show you guys a couple personal pieces, because I got a couple personal pieces, one that I'm wearing right here. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, like I said, smash the like button, and let's go to Goodwill, because hopefully, today's going to be one of those days where we just find some bangers. And of course, I'm here literally one minute late, which pisses me off, but hopefully, we can still go through a bin. All right, so we hit a couple rotations. I got some car hearts. I got this beautiful old, old, old set. I don't know why I can't say it. Oldsmobile satin jacket from like the late 80s, early 90s. We got a little Flyers hockey jersey. We got this hilarious like Intel Play Zimbabwe inside. I don't know what this is from. I'm probably going to leave it, although it is hilarious. We have a beautiful little essential Adidas sweater. And last but not least, probably the best find, which is really sad. It's going to be this little white tag, Nike check, center check. But look what, oh my God, who the f wore this thing? Looks like someone grabbed homie by the neck, huh? Man. What the fuck is What? What do you say? This one, the frick jacket. Ooh, damn, man, it's going with the language today. Honestly, the coolest piece was this, which I actually bought off the homie Rashid. All right, guys, I'm tired as shit. Ant, by the way, lost his wallet. Thankfully, we found it. Um, That's freaking dope. I honestly don't know if I want to leave right now or if I want to wait until this rotation's pulled. Maybe hit one more row, but I'm so freaking tired. Plus, I got to move some shit. Ooh, by the way, these shoes that I'm wearing, the Puma RS Dreamers, so freaking comfortable. No, this is not paid. I just love these freaking shoes. That freaking much oh my god they are so heavenly they fit to my feet they just conform to my toe my little twinkle toes what's up man how you living good, good. you find it you find anything good no good no good yeah today no good. any car heart no no, no uh, man r.i.p man r.i.p all right so you're gonna sell it to me next time yeah all right when are you gonna wear it next wear it next yeah i'm gonna sell it to you <laughs> no i know but like when are you gonna be here next oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna come to your house tonight and we're gonna, I'm gonna buy it, okay? Yeah. Where do you live at? Far, bro. <laughs> How far? Across the bridge. Wait, in Gig Harbor? Half. Key Peninsula? Port Orchard. You live in Port Orchard? Holy fuck balls, you drive here every day? Yeah, and I drive up to Everett quite a bit. That's disgusting. Port Orchard, okay, I'm gonna have to figure out if I can drive all the way to Port Orchard to get this Carhartt jacket. I really want it for the video, we'll see. Of course, took an L on Nike sneakers this morning. I mean, I got the pants, which is fine because it's the first time I've ever made a purchase. Oh, well, fuck Nike. My Puma's looking freaking beautiful in this car lighting. Look at you. Anyways, if you're wondering where we are, we're currently in Auburn, parking my vehicle at the uh, outlet mall. We're meeting up with the man, the myth, the legend himself. Jonah, Dave, you look so good in this freaking lighting. Thank hey, you. I got a center check yesterday. No way. Yeah, look, I found it in the vans. Bro, this shit's crazy. Look, this is probably the craziest center check you'll ever see. Pull it out, pull it out. Bro, no way. <laughs> Wait, do you want to trade? <laughs> yeah, please. Bro. <laughs> Isn't that just ripped his shit? God damn. And then look, this is the jacket that your dad was wearing when he f 
but your mom and impregnated you. Bro, shut the fuck up. Three generation. That's some classic shit right there. It's hard. Like late 80s, early 90s. Dude. My mom might have worn that jacket when she was giving labor. Damn, homie sitting on the gold rims. Inches, inches. Ooh. Too fast, too fast, too furious. Level up my status. I'm a target, I'm not average. If my karma catches up, my future son will be a savage. Brody turned to dope, he couldn't cope, he couldn't manage. Ask around, my name is good. I'm in these hoods like a mechanic. Look, I'm paranoid, so I don't say what I think. I'm doing burpees in that cell, I had to bathe in that sink. I had to meditate to sleep, I had the craziest dreams. I know some factors in a fashion, put your face on the T. Gather and prioritize, feeding us some. Alright, so just like Seattle, you gotta grab a number. They do limit how many people can go in. And how many people per bin? Breakfast time. I gotta grab some food. I'm freaking hungry. Yeah, I don't see any of the homies like Tanner or Charlie here. Charlie. So we got a ticket 23. What were you? 24? 24. Fire. All right. Let's see how this bin's hits, man. Oh, and I met a uh, homie. He watches the video. So I appreciate you. I'm sure I'll see you in a moment. But, um, you know, a fellow blind civilian like myself. Let's make sure that we're wearing a mask. The bro I know is in our mouth at all times. All right, man. So I got a couple things out the 95 Heli Hansen Polo. Absolutely incredible. Oh, shoot. RJ's calling me. Hey, man. Look at him feeling hey, player. Hey. Damn, got the trench coat. I wish I could wear trench coat so I'm short. If I wore this, it would literally be touching the ground. Speaking of the ground, damn, my shoes are looking gorgeous. But yeah, overall, pretty good start. I actually picked up a porn company. Normally, I don't pick up porn company tags. Some Carhartt, some North Face, a bunch of little vintage tees. Yeah, overall, not a bad first rotation. We still got like probably five more rotations left. All right, let's make sure that we're staying healthy and that the person next to us is not stressed out because you're too close. You can't film in here. Well, as you guys heard, the Goodwill employee told me that I can't film in there, but I just have to be more discreet. I was being kind of blatant with it. A lot of the other Goodwills don't care if you film. You guys see me film Goodwills all the time, but I've ran into that problem. I usually only run into that problem in the racks though. Like for some reason down in Portland, the Goodwills are super Weird. There's so many people that come up to me that are like, yo, I saw your video, so I went to the bin. I mean, I understand why some thrifters don't want me to make videos because a lot of thrifters want to like keep that shit to themselves. For me, I don't want to necessarily blow up the spot, but I do want to encourage everyone to get out and save some money. Go buy some reused clothing, even if you don't shop at Thrift Road, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W, which you probably should follow that on Instagram at the very least. If you have a thrift near you, go hit it. Go see if you can find something. You never know when you're going to come across that grail, so... Uh, yeah, that being said, right now, uh, I'm gonna have to go hit some racks. Racks on racks on racks on racks, and then go back, because I got spot number 16, so uh, sweet 16, baby. Skirt! Oh, and the homie Jason's in front of us. All right, man, the boy Charlie pulled up to the racks. He's not going to the bins, nothing crazy. His fucking find is cool, look at this, guys. Beautiful, look at this. Woohoo! Little 80s joint, absolutely the delicious. Time, they're finally not taxed. That's beautiful. They probably don't know what that, you think they know what the tag is though? No. Then we got this little Hanes BB. This isn't really any shit, just two little squirrels trying to get a nut. I don't know what happened to that. Oh. She took that sweater. That sweater is kind of fire. Ooh. Then you got this fish jumping out of some cum splatter. One of my favorite tags on the Onita. You have this fucking cheetah dog with this crazy ass hair looking like a rock star. <laughs> kind of cool. Nothing. You put I your tees back? You found some tees? You ready to go to the next location? Yeah, All right, bet. Let's what do you think go. Oh, shit. It's recording Inception. I'm on camera. Hopefully, I don't get told that I cannot film here. Ooh, it's a Merry Christmas. The Ninja Turtle costume. Look, this is the only time you're ever going to have abs. Put them shells on your back. Call you Donatello. I spit hot fire. Holy <laughs> fuck. First of all, look at the piston buttons. Look at this big ass freaking eagle wing stretched across a homie's titties. Then you got my man with the tribal tattoo armbands. Big old cock print right there. Extended chopper forks. If this does not just scream America, then you have this guy just straight licking your armpit region. Dude, Annie's blood gang. Try what shit, man. My man Jonah right here just passing this to me. Oh my, that's so cute. That's so adorable. Oh man. This thing is gangster as fuck though. When you first saw it, were you wishing it was a patty? Yes, bro. Another one? Bro, I sold that one that I had for like a hundred dollars and it sold within like five seconds because online they're like going for like 150, 200. Oh, this is a dope print. Too. Oh, this is a sick ass print for sure. I love vintage Columbia. Look at these player ass suede shoes with the freaking grizzly bear pubic hair. Oh my goodness. She's on the trap phone right now. Anyways, about to cop this beauty. Isn't this beautiful? Absolutely scrumptious. 
Man, seeing these trucks and walking around the back of the Everett Goodwill reminds me of my thrifting times with my brother Twinkie and Hootie. Sadly, I probably won't be able to film in here uh, because I got... Huh? You're lying. All right, guys, I didn't grab anything from this rotation. That being said, I'm gonna steal the homie's dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is up? You are adorable. What's good, man? Man, we left the Goodwill bins, and I think God is just as sad as I am that I can't film in the Everett store because he is clearly crying. Either that or he, he is busting nuts all over the windshield. I'm not exfoliating with God. You know that. <laughs> Exfoliate. All right, guys, I got to record undercover. But anyways, we got some Adidas, little tank top, Nike swoosh, some Carhartt hoodies, several pairs of carpenter pants. My man Andre right here is going to uh, keep me undercover. And uh, once again, we got my dog. Peace out, my dog. Who let the dogs out? All right, I know I just said goodbye to the dog, but we didn't end up leaving, actually. We stayed for the last rotation. This is the last one. Young Lance Armstrong on the beat. Anyways, yeah, man, hopefully we get some good stuff. I'm pretty sure it's time to go in for the last rotation. All right, guys, I got to be low key. I found another pair of polo corduroys. I actually worked out a trade for the other pair. Once again, it's missing a button. I don't know why this is just such a flagrant offender of button missing. We got the granny masterpiece. Look at all this stitching. Yo, grandma was putting work and her fingers had to be bleeding. This is my past pile. I also wanted to show you guys this beautiful Hanes heavyweight tag. This is my key pile. We got a little vintage Olympics piece. This is hilarious. I'll read that to you later. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, I had to stop recording because uh, they were catching on. So, oh, of course. Have a good night. You too. Yeah, man, definitely got some bangers in here. I wish I could go more in depth. One of these pieces, this little yellow piece, this like little uh, light piss yellow piece right here. I cannot believe I just found that in the bins. I literally, guys, I paid $5 for this pile. I'm going to show you guys what's in this pile later on. But uh, yeah, man, overall successful trip. Successful day. And uh, I'm glad we stayed all day. Definitely came across some bangers. All right, guys, so I got a bunch of stuff to show you guys. I did end up getting a jacket that's not going to be in this haul. And the main reason it's not going to be in this haul is because I already have way too much shit to show you guys in this video. Now, of course, everything that I show you guys will be for sale on Thrift Row. It may not be posted right away, but it will be posted at some point. Unless, of course, someone DMs me and buys it before I get a chance to post it, which I do respond to DMs. I am down to uh, sell things before I post them. All you guys have to do is DM me. It may take me a little bit to get back to you, but that being said, getting right into it. The first piece is, of course, this fleece bars piece fleece i spit hot five i did get some offers on this uh i would probably sell this for like 40 bucks it's a size medium super dope piece instantly remind me of the palaska fleece that dropped last friday that i spent like 230 dollars on but that being said super dope piece there's a little bit of a small stain you can barely see right here i'm not quite sure if it would come out i haven't tried yet that being said i love fleeces like this i love like any pattern fleece it's just so cozy it's soft definitely some pnw pacific northwest vibes i got this blank dickies jacket i mostly got this because i plan on doing something custom with this as most of you guys know I've been collecting blanks lately um, I got this North Face right here this is a woman's North Face I believe but uh, definitely a good size it says it's a woman's medium it honestly looks like it would fit like a men's medium these North Faces are always nice as you can see you got the little North Face embroidery on the sleeve right there I found that in the bins as well found this North Face this is for my mom most of the women's North Faces if it's a smaller size I will usually end up just giving it to my mom. Even that green one might go to her, but I give her so many North Faces because I find so many of those in the bins and it's like 30, 40 cents. Cool little Tigger sweater. Uh, this is a large, but it's like a youth large, so I'd say it probably fits like a small. So if you are a smaller individual or a female that wants a dope sweater, this one right here, of course, I'll let that go for pretty cheap because it's a youth size. You have this Santa Cruz tee. Always nice to find these. This is actually a super dope piece. I've been trying to keep pieces like this. This is a vintage little uh, Washington agriculture corduroy jacket it is from uh like 89 or 90 you can see john hansen uh i don't know what the fuck that says something president oh vice president 89 90 you have the little uh, agriculture badge right here either way super dope all embroidered you have this like chain stitch on the back i've been trying to keep more essential like older jackets like this to the side so i will be posting those at some point Ooh, made in USA, white tag, Nike check. Now, what's super dope about this, right? So I have this Nike check, that beautiful forest green colorway, embroidered, of course, on the titty. But today, when I was actually going to take my cover photo, I stopped at the Goodwill, and I found this Nike tee, right? I paid $4, which is kind of a lot because... It's, it doesn't have any branding. It's just a Nike blank. A white tag made in USA Nike blank. There's nothing on here. Literally 
nothing at all. And as you guys know, I collect vintage blanks because, I don't know, I wanted to make little like one of one custom pieces with them. We have this piece right here for the holidays, made in the US of A, a long sleeve. You have Santa Claus right there, ho ho hoing, ready to get some hoes himself with what looks to be some Timberlands on his feet. You have this little uh, happy holiday thing and then on the sleeve, I don't know what the that is, but a little uh, sleeve print as well. Figured I'd get this just, you know, if you want to be nice and festive and some dope vintage pieces this season, I got you covered. This is random as fuck. Here's a Jeep tee. If you can read this, your Jeep is too close. Jeep, there's only one, and then you have the Jeep on the titty, but it's also on a Jeep tag, which is super weird. I've never seen that before. It's a little bit bigger, like an X, double X. Uh, Indigo Girls, made in the USA, on the Fruit of the Loom. I just like this comic book strip. I believe someone told me it's like a indie band or something. We got the head FT right here, not the soft tee, but hefty Port Angeles vintage tee made in the US of A, single stitch of course. This is a really dope like vintage Washington piece. I always pick up location based pieces. I just think it's kind of cool because like if this said Tacoma on it, dude, I would be so gassed to keep this. I like having pieces that just represent my city. So if you're from Port Angeles, then I got you covered. This right here, nice little Nike piece. This is like a felt Nike thing. It feels very, very soft. It is once again a white tag made in the US of A and that white tag is in super good condition minus the fact that it's cut. but that no fading on that tag at all. Super nice Hanes tag. Yes, this is a blank, nothing on it. I wish this was like a larger, extra large so I could actually make something with this and keep it for myself, but it is a size medium, so I will be making something and probably selling it. Size medium reverse weave champion crew neck in the Coke white colorway. Just a Russell Athletic blank double XL. Once again, I collect blanks. Then you have this Adidas crew neck, nice, clean, essential. A little bit of distressing around the neck right there. Size large, you have these like tonal gray stripes going all the way down overall in great condition with of course the adidas embroidery right on your titty and we got more sportswear as well we got the nike embroidery on the titty with this hoodie right here i found this all in the same bin as i found like a bunch of car hearts that was a really nice bin for me found that i found these right here which these are actually single knee car hearts size 36 this beautiful size large olive colorway car heart hoodie this like mint green or like Tiffany green Carhartt hoodie as well. This one's newer, size double XL, but I just love the color on this. This zip up Carhartt hoodie, which does have a little bit of paint stains throughout, like on the hood right there. Of course, that beautiful Carhartt badge right here in your abdomen region. Size 36 double knee gray Carhartts with what looks to be some blood stains. I don't know why every time I find gray Carhartts, it looks like they were owned by some former assassin with like blood on the knees. And in that bin, I also found these right here. So yes, like the last seven pieces I just showed you were all from the same bin. I believe these ones are size 34, double knees, black, Oh wait, no, these ones aren't the double knees. Maybe the other black pair was the double knees. Oh, I guess neither of the black ones would, for some reason I thought one of these pairs were double knee Carhartts. I know the gray ones are, but I guess these are single knee. Either way, super nice black size 36 with a little Carhartt badge right on the right ass cheek. Oh, that's why. Okay, never mind. I guess I found another pair of Carhartts in that bin. These ones right here, size 36 by 36, double knees. I knew I had a pair of all black double knees. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely mandatory, especially if you are hooking and you uh, are spending some time on your knees. Now, I found this like, I think 70s Scott trench coat or pea coat right here. Look at this thing. Old military pea coat. It's made by Scott Sh 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 Leather. This brand is super good quality if you guys don't know. They actually collaborate with Supreme every season. Scott NYC, made in USA, size 38. It looks like it'd fit probably like a medium, maybe a large. Probably a medium though. Oh, we have this really depressing Nike check that you guys already saw. I'm probably not gonna sell this. I mean, if you want it for a project, I'm willing to sell it for really cheap, but I'm thinking about trying to sew this back together. And I know it's gonna look kind of janky, but I think it'll still look kind of dope, like some DIY center check. Definitely a lot of work needed for that piece. Now, this right here, uh, I found this from the last one. This is a Teddy Fresh hoodie. I'm only putting this in here because I had so many people ask me about this hoodie and I cannot find the DMs anymore because I couldn't find this hoodie for a while. So I had to tell them like, yo, I don't know what I did with that hoodie. I need to find it. And uh, yeah, I found it. So probably two of my favorite finds. I found this Acne Studios sweater. This is probably like a woman's oversized medium because the sleeves are a little bit short or small. Oh my God, what is going on outside? Why? 
Dude, yet another car just racing outside. It is really like Tokyo Drift. Anyway, super dope. These are all like stitched in, which is insane. It's super sick to find Acne Studios in the thrifts. That's just crazy to me. I was so geeked when I saw this tag. This app, oh my, dude, if this was my size. Look at you have three bald eagles. I know you guys aren't really bald. I know you guys got plenty of hair. You guys got plenty of lifetime on your uh, lineup and your scalp. But look at these furry specimens. His wing just arched over his dome piece on a absolutely gorgeous Double XL Fruit of the Loom made in the US of A in that Bukaki creme de la creme colorway. Dude, I wish this was my size. This thing is so freaking gangster. Oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of something that is also not my size, really depressing. This is like satin jacket. This is like probably late 80s, early 90s. If you know a more exact date, let me know. But that right there. The new generation of Oldsmobile embroidered on both sides. That neon embroidery. Definitely a cool like vintage satin jacket. Nice essential purple Heli Hansen jacket. Cool like newer Adidas crew neck. Super sick. USA, God bless America, fleece right here. Look at this thing, USA with the stripes, USA like 40 times going around. Smaller North Face. Dude, this Columbia. Dude, shout out to my boy Jonah for plugging me with this extra large and in charge. Absolutely gorgeous. If this was a Patagonia, Patagonia is definitely like a step up in quality, but the justification for price, like a Patagonia with this pattern would be like 150 to $200, and this will be nowhere near that, but super dope pattern, and you just get a super nice like vintage look for cheap. I love vintage Columbia. I think they make some of the dopest stuff. The colors are always really good, and a lot of people sleep on Columbia just because it's not considered as valuable as some of the other pieces but some of those vintage Columbias do go and I'm telling you guys do not sleep. This is a, just a cool little like vintage paint graphic right here but you have this little race car on the front and then you got little alien frog just taunting you. 1995 new with tags Helly Hansen Polo. I just like the color blocking on this so of course I had to grab it. Now in that same exact bin that I found both those Helly Hansen pieces I saw this vintage tee that I grabbed and normally I wouldn't necessarily grab something like this but it does say Hansen Family Reunion and I just got it because in the off chance that it is from Helly Hansen I don't know you have GH right there I don't know what the fuck that means. That is on a beautiful Hanes heavyweight single stitch. You do have the red bar anvil long sleeve this just says tee Uni. It says Utah, Nevada, Idaho. Simple long sleeve with a super nice wash to it. And then you have this right here. It says Canyon Lands 26th Annual Half Something 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 Marathon March Moab Desert 2001 on the hands heavyweight. This is super dope. Porn Company. You guys hear me talk a lot of shit about Porn Company. This is an actual vintage Porn Company tag. Super dope little graphic. I love that race for the cure print on the back. Washington DC. The reason I talk shit about Porn Company is because although this is truly vintage, Porn Company will trick you a lot with some of their newer tags. If you guys watch all the videos you guys know what those look like peep game pay attention to the tags i'm telling you guys but some of those like newer tags have they'll have these like prints that look like they're vintage but they're not and then you see the tag and you know it's a new tag and it's like literally two years old queen and high school place in seattle um i don't know if that's an actual high school in Seattle or what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's a high school in Seattle. Either way, super dope on the Onita. The legend lives on with this fucking grizzly bear ramming through this crest. Nice little Olympics long sleeve with this freaking print going down here. And then of course this back print is insane. I think this is like 2001, 2002. Oh yeah, 2002, look, Salt Lake City Olympics tag right there. Molly Crew T front and back print. That is a size medium. This is another Olympics tee right here. Lily Hammer 94. Lily Hammer 94! Either way, it's on the Hanes Beefy. Made, of course, in the US of A. X Grande is the size. And you have this, like, stick figure. What? It looks like he's skiing or something. This is hilarious. I said I was gonna read this because uh, there was, like, a bunch of these Foster and Easy Sports Management groups. They are vintage tees. This is on a single stitch. It says, the meek shall inherit the earth, but they shall never score a touchdown. I thought that was kind of of funny of course little back print as well now I was gonna read this to you uh, in the thrifts however of course you guys saw I did get told that I can't film there which was really depressing so I had to like be somewhat undercover it was a covert operation this tank top right here this is like a puff print which is insane all these teeth are like puff prints you can feel like little scales on his skin the printing techniques on this freaking tank top is insane New Orleans with the gator right there nice CCM hockey jersey I don't know shit about hockey so of course if you want that I will let it go for a steal beautiful Oh my, look at this Nautica jacket with the embroidery on both sleeves. Nautica spell out going down the arm. Size medium. Oh, that is so gangster. This gangster ass SeaWorld tee that I think I'm just going to print 
fuck right here above SeaWorld on the Red Bar Anvil with the all over surrounding print. This thing is so fucking sick. Size extra large. Clean little starter Notre Dame jacket. Another Nautica super clean spell out. This one's a little bit newer than the other one. Of course, you have the little Nautica in right there with the sails on the titty. Actually, I'm just gonna show all those in the next one because uh, yeah, I bought those off someone else. But that being said, if you guys want any of the items that I showed you, look, I have a whole freaking pile of clothes right here. If you guys want anything that I showed you, DM me on Thrifro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. I did get a personal piece, this right here. I don't know if I'm ever gonna sell this. The way that I got this was I got the Space Jam tee, which you guys saw in the last trip to the thrift. I traded that, a uh, size extra large Screen Stars Dare tee, and a pair of polo corduroy trousers that was missing the button, size 36, just like those ones I saw in Everett, for this tee and $150 cash. So overall, pretty decent deal, I feel like. I feel like it was a pretty fair deal. I hit, I hit up some people. I guess that Space Jam is going for even more than I thought it was, which is crazy. I expect it to be like 200, 250, but a lot of people are saying it's like $400 plus and potentially even more because it's the poster print. So definitely a valuable tee and there's always gonna be pieces like that if you are hunting that you may not know the value of. I wouldn't be scared because at the end of the day, I mean, I pay 50 cents for most of these t-shirts a couple bucks for some of the jackets like you find deals man if you guys have a thrift store near you of course i always recommend going out and thrifting yourself i do try to hook it up you can definitely add to your wardrobe a lot cheaper and a lot more affordably if you guys want to buy anything from thrift row t-h-r-i-f-t-r-o-w is gonna be somewhere on the screen in the description down below i will be updating the website as soon as i get moved of course right now i can only really sell through instagram because i'm just so busy moving and uh i have a lot of product but stay tuned thank you guys so much for rocking me i appreciate it for the time but my heart as always keep it the star live and peace the fuck out! Oh yeah, and actually before I say peace the fuck out, I'd probably say um, make sure you smash the like button down below, please. If you guys did not smash the like button earlier, please do that. It does help your boy out. Alright, anyways, new video coming soon. Peace out. Bang, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.